Welcome to the vlog week four. Thank you for watching. I am currently looking at a snowstorm going on out there. It's kind of hard to tell. It's been snowing since like, Alexa pause, since like yesterday around three and it's supposed to snow until like six today. So I have my coffee. I have a scone baking in the oven. I'm gonna editing my vlog from last week and I do have plans with girlfriends at one o'clock for lunch don't see how that's gonna happen. Like it's gonna be impossible to get an Uber in a reasonable time and it's gonna be surged. We'll see if that actually happens. That is all I really have going on right now. I am just enjoying this time and, oh, I watched Palmer last night, which is the movie with Justin Timberlake. It's on Apple TV, so good. I thought it was so good. It was heartwarming and, but not cheesy. I, I don't know, it was, I thought it was really, really good. So if you're looking for a movie to watch and you have Apple TV, that is really, really good. And again, any other shows that you've been watching re recently, I know I ask all the time, but I mean, Lockdown Life, I'm watching more TV than I ever would. I, I don't think I'm alone. Also, any types of YouTube videos that you would like to see besides vlogs? My arm's getting tired already. I'm gonna keep doing vlogs. It's not that I'm gonna stop doing vlogs. I just sit here in the mornings on the weekends and I jot down ideas for videos to do. And then they never happen because they bore me. I have one that I shot a while ago on layering for winter weather. Someone requested that. I'm sorry that that hasn't come out. But I just, because we're not like going out, like fashion's not really a thing right now, at least for me, I'm doing makeup, but I'm pretty much just trying to go through my old makeup. It's not like I'm trying new things. Like I'm trying to like, you know, not have as much. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like what kinds of videos do you wanna see? Just let me know. I, I edit my videos. Do you wanna learn how to edit videos on iMovie? I don't know. Do you want more public speaking tips? Which by the way, if you want those, you can go to my, TikTok account, if you're not on TikTok, then what, it's fine. Um, but do you want that? Like, do you want presentation skills? Like what, I like help me because it is like, I'm in a creative rut and there's not much inspiration. So if there are things that you wanna see, like really like any category, just let me know. If you think like, oh Jen, you seem to know a lot about this, then, then maybe I'll do some videos about it. That'd be very helpful, thank you. I am going to, I'm gonna get this vlog out for you. That is my priority this morning. I'm gonna have some breakfast, have more coffee, and then we will see if I will go out in the snowstorm. If I do, uh, well, let me show you it. It's hard to tell, and it's like, you can look on people's balconies. It looks like we're creeping on them. Okay, that's the reflection of my candle over here on the window, there's no fire in their building. You can see how much snow, eh, it's hard to tell. But there's been a lot and there's gonna be more because if it's snowing for another, what is it, nine o'clock? Gosh, nine hours? Yeah, it's gonna, even if it's light, like it's looking at up. Okay, I'm rambling, I'm gonna go now. Well, I didn't go to lunch because it's still blizzard outside. However, I did put on makeup and shot some videos for YouTube and TikTok and now I'm gonna take off my makeup and go for a walk on the treadmill, maybe not. Random thought, have I ever told you that I was on the Dr. Oz show once? Like on it, like last week I told you that I was in the audience of Oprah. I've also been in the audience of Steve Harvey show, but I actually was on, on Dr. Oz eating a Kit Kat. I'm gonna show you the video. It was all a lie, but um, essentially the show, oh my gosh. Okay, I really need to like get into this. Okay, so before you see this video, oh look, you can see like my whole setup there. Okay, so before you see this video, here's what you need to know. One, my I put in to get tickets for the Dr. Oz show and at like the beginning of a year and I got them, but it films in New York and I live in Chicago. So I text my mom and I was like, do you wanna go to New York for the weekend? It was gonna be like Super Bowl weekend and hurt, I don't care about that. So. I was like, do you wanna to go to New York for the weekend? We'll do some shopping, we'll go to the Dr. Oz show. And she's like, okay, yeah, let's, that sounds fun. Like flights were inexpensive, hotels were inexpensive. I had all these points. Like it was gonna be just like a fun trip to New York. And it was, it was a great trip. After I got the tickets, the whoever in production sent an email out and was like, does anyone wanna be a participating guest on the show? And if you do, reply with your photo of you and your guest or guests and your relationship. So I sent a picture of my me and my mom and 
my phone rings like the next day and they're like, hi. And I'm like, hey. And they're like, this is so-and-so from the Dr. Oz show. We were just wondering if you happen to eat candy like in weird ways. Like, do you eat a Kit Kat around the edges first? And I'm thinking, I don't. But other fun fact, my internship in college was for a TV show called Check Please here in Chicago. And I was the one who had to call people up and see if they'd be a good fit for the show. I know from like this person on the other phone, from her perspective, she's looking for energy. She's looking for me to be like a little bit over the top. And like, I, I've been prepared for this moment <laughs> since I was like 21 years old, back to the phone call. So we were wondering if you ate candy like weird, like a Kit Kat around the edges. I know that I don't eat a Kit Kat like that, but I also know that if I say yes and I go with it, that I might get selected. So I go, oh my God, that's so crazy. I totally eat a Kit Kat like that. And she's like, does your mom think it's weird? I'm like, oh yeah, she thinks it's like so weird. <laughs> my sister thinks it's weird too. And yeah, it's just like a whole thing in our family. And she, I also took improv classes by the way. Anyways, I was like, my whole life was leading up to this. So she's like, oh my God, uh, okay, we're gonna call your mom and we want to like hear her story but like we'd love to have you as like a guest on the show and i was like okay this is for like this like unusual eating habits so i sent a quick text to my mom and i was like hey the dr oz show is gonna call you and ask if i eat a kit kat like a weirdo just like go with it and she's like okay so they called her she went with it they had her send in a video of talking about how weird it was. They had me send in a video of me eating the Kit Kat. My friend Andy took the video. So yeah, I'm just gonna like roll like the, I'm gonna roll the whole clip. So what I'd like you to keep an eye on is how many times I actually take the microphone from Dr. Oz. As you know, I do a lot of public speaking for work and I'm on a mic a lot and I like to hold my own microphone and apparently it was just a natural reaction. So I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna play this. It's gonna take a minute, so just, Enjoy. Today, no lunch buddy or dinner date is safe. I ask you to turn in your friends and family to settle the question. Is that food habit normal or nuts? First, I want you to meet someone, her, guess what? Her mom is about to call her out on her food habit. Take a look. Check out my daughter's food habit. My daughter eats her candy like a beaver. First, she nibbles the chocolate off then she goes through it layer by layer. It's ridiculous. I need to know, is this normal or not? Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> so let me find out what the story is here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Are you happy about your mom doing that? No. <laughs> Deborah, why'd you turn your daughter in? Why would, why would a mother do that? So here's the thing. She, uh, when Jennifer, gets that Kit Kat out. It's a whole process with her. So she opens it up very slowly. It's like a ceremony. So I my saw. other daughter will look and she'll go, Mom, are you kidding me? When is, <laughs> are we gonna get through this or not? So, um, so that's why I sent it in. I wanna know the way she eats this, is that normal or nuts? Or nuts, that's the question. <laughs> so do you eat other foods like that? Do you eat your broccoli like that? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. I will have to cut it up specifically. Very particular. Sure, By the way, I have to eat everything. I actually brought you one here. If you don't mind, would you mind good. demonstrating that? Is sure. there, and explain the ritual sure. to me. Yes. Okay. Well, you have to break it in half first. Oh, in the half, of right, course. Yeah. I should have. I should have known. Then... <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of us have these habits when we're young, but we sort of grow out of them. It didn't yeah. happen with you, I guess. I, no, it didn't. And it lasts longer too, because if I if I didn't break it, then I would just eat them right away and more calories so right. it times it out <laughs> audience what do you got is eating a kit kat like a beaver is eating a can like a beaver period is normal or nuts what do you guys think normal no. No. <laughs> so they're not they're not sure Jennifer. They might, that's why i brought an expert panel in today okay. jen let's hold up your wand what do you think so yeah that is me eating a kit kat like a beaver on national TV. That really happened, and they did give me the Kit Kat, so I had a huge Kit Kat afterwards. And uh, my mom was a very good actress. I think that I was too. It was super fun, and it's just one of those moments that like we're always gonna laugh about because it's just like, it's so funny. So yeah, that's, that's my experience on the Dr. Oz show. I decided to, I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill, and uh, I'm gonna show you 
all snow. It's still snowing. It's been snowing since like three o'clock. Oh my God, look at all these people at the park. Oh, it's hard to tell. I straightened my hair today and well, I always do my makeup, but I feel like it looks extra good and I haven't seen anyone. Well, actually I saw some people sort of, but I had a mask on. Uh, I had no video calls. I talked to my mom, she saw me, which was good. I thought I'd get on camera today and show you what I got from Marley Spoon. That is the one I keep calling Marley and me, but it's not. So it is Martha Stewart. Look at it. Martha and Marley and me. I got two meals, just like I did last week, which I didn't show you both meals, sorry about that. Let's see what I'm making tonight. I got a teriyaki glazed burger with sweet potato fries, but that it means I have to make it, but they give me all the ingredients. And then I also, so I don't know if I like curry, so I decided to try the chicken tikka masala. Maybe I like that tonight, that sounds good. Uh, even though I don't know what it tastes like. So you get this huge, like, See that with all the ingredients for both meals and they come in these bags which if you've done meal kits you know that they usually come in separate containers but here's almost everything I need for the teriyaki glazed burger and almost everything I need for the chicken masala then at the bottom which when I first got these I didn't look at the bottom they have the cold ingredients so I have like the chicken Apparently some mascarpone, oh boy, some peas. Usually the meat and cheeses are under here. There's the ground beef, a lot more garlic, which they just give you like a whole head of garlic. So now I have all this garlic, apparently. Oh, pickles for the burgers. And what is this? Oh, this is mayo, probably for the burger. Okay, so I'll put all this in the fridge and I will show you tonight when I'm cooking. This is the situation. This looks really simple. It's not like it's difficult, but there was a lot of component components. They break down like 35 steps into six because there's like many steps within. Oh, I got to pay attention to this, but I have it all going on. There's my chicken. There's my sauce. My rice is in there with some peas and we are just, we're doing this. These recipes are not difficult. There's just many steps. And I feel like all of the, um, like things like this, like do, but it's funny because they say six steps, but then you read and there's, they could do chop a shallot, chop peeled ginger, chop garlic, pick cilantro leaves, chop the stems, pat the dry, pat the chicken dry and cut it into one inch pieces and dress with salt and pepper. That's one step. So, I feel like they exaggerate a little bit on that, but that's okay. So I have this cooking. I put the chicken in. It smells really good. And I think I just have to do this for another minute. Put in the mascarpone cheese. And I think I'm good to go. And we'll see how this tastes. I have to say, it's really good. I did a really good job on this. I cooked the rice right. I can taste the ginger. Very proud of myself. This is really good. And now I don't have to cook dinner tomorrow. So I'll just reheat these leftovers. Tonight, oh, I guess my oven's preheated. I am making this teriyaki glazed burger with spinach salad and, I don't know that word, fries. So I think it's a spice. And essentially I'm making a burger and fries. So I'm doing that and I have a TikTok call and hopefully this won't take too long because I'm really hungry even though it's only 5.30, but I'm hungry. So it's time to, time to get dinner ready. <sighs> yeah. Today was a day, so yeah. Okay, it's a very simple dish, but it's the sriracha mayo. I have the potatoes, and then my teriyaki glazed burger with bread and butter pickles. Looks good. Time to eat and get on TikTok call. FYI, this is really good. I know it's simple. So I've had now <laughs> four great meals with this place. So I'm excited next week I'll get two more boxes. I don't have a coupon code for you. I tried to be a part of their affiliate program, but it was too complicated. So I'll put a link below. It's Marley Spoon by Martha Stewart, not Marley and me. I think I'm gonna earn like, I'll be able to give away boxes soon. Not because I mean on YouTube, just because that's what they do when you order a certain amount. So if that happens, um, I will figure out how to get these to you. I was gonna show you, I just went to Whole Foods. It's gonna be super cold out today, like later. It's gonna, well, it's gonna snow in a couple hours. 
And then it's gonna be really cold, like really cold. Like it feels like it's gonna be negative something. So I wanted to show you what I got from Whole Foods. This is just a random Whole Foods haul. Potato chips were on sale and I haven't had chips in a while. So yeah, I got them. Ooh, this is my favorite. This is the spinach orzo pasta. It's like in the section where they like do it by weight, you know, where you can do like the entrees and stuff. This stuff is so good. Sometimes I just like have it for lunch. Some organic lettuce. Really into salads. I got some mushrooms. I'm gonna be making risotto. Hopefully these will last till Sunday. And then Kerrygold grass-fed cheddar. Because if I can get grass-fed, I do. Some tomatoes for my salad. Then I got this organic smokehouse bacon. I hardly ever buy bacon, but I kind of felt like it. And then I got my favorite oat milk. So this is like the only one that I can find that doesn't have like or any like plant-based milk that doesn't have like oil in it. If you know of others, let me know. This is just organic, whole organic ingredients. And the ingredients are oat milk. Oh, this does have oil. Never mind, this does have oil. Maybe it's another one of theirs that doesn't. But why do we have to put oil in plant milk? Okay. And then this soup that my mom told me about, the Wolfgang Puck series. It's free range chicken noodle. I thought it was organic. Maybe it says it. Uh, yeah, a lot of these are organic, almost every ingredient. So these are really good. They have a tortilla one that I had yesterday for lunch. So good. Sugar, because I might make cookies this weekend. And then these, these are called sumo citrus. They look weird. They look like an orange. They're actually like a larger mandarin. Um, they're so good. They were on sale last week, not this week, but they're so good if you see them in the grocery store. Like, I highly recommend. And, and they're so easy to peel. Like, unlike oranges, like these, I can just like pull this off and like, it's done. Some green apples, because I put peanut butter on those in the morning. Potatoes, receipt. And this Pacific Organic Mushroom Broth. The reason I like this one is because it doesn't have any natural flavors. It's just water mushroom, sea salt, garlic, and it's all organic. That's hard to find, by the way, with stock. So I just use that. Uh, cucumber and some pears that were on sale. So that's my whole foods haul. I'm trying to brighten things up today with a bold lip. I went with no foundation today and just a little bit of concealer under like here and here. And then bronzer, obviously, but I didn't put any foundation on. I have a bunch of work calls and I need to eat some breakfast have some more coffee and get on with my day. It's Friday and I am getting ready for work. There's some sun, but the feels like is negative something. I just want to show you, I ordered, so I'm a lefty and notebooks that have like the rings on the left hand side are just like terrible. I prefer the top. So I also learned that I like steno pads, but anyways, I found this notebook. This is like a really random thing, but look at it, it has pink paper. I just thought, you know, this would bring me joy every day if I wrote on pink paper. I'll link this below. I got it on Amazon. Good morning. It is Saturday and I am editing and it looks so sunny out, right? Look at this is my view. It doesn't get old. But uh, it feels like it's a negative eight. So I will not be going outside. I am working on some TikToks. I should probably work on the vlog instead of doing that every Sunday morning so I can have it out to you sooner. I'm trying to get better about that. Today I am going to maybe clean, maybe watch some movies. I'm going out to dinner tonight with some girlfriends. We're supposed to get snow and more cold, but I could really use like being out in a social situation. So hopefully that will happen tonight. And oh, I have some Amazon things or I have some clothes to show you. I'm getting my old Navy items delivered. I think today I got one yesterday. Not happy about it, but I'll show you later. I also ordered the TikTok leggings. I don't know if you've heard about these. They're supposed to make your butt look like really, really good. And on TikTok, people have their like boyfriends or husbands react like blind, like they have them on, they're like in the kitchen and then the boyfriends are like, oh my God, I don't, I don't have a boyfriend or a man and like to give you that reaction. So we'll just see what happens when I put the hands on. I'm gonna focus on editing and then I bought um, some bacon at 
well, you know that because I showed you my whole food haul. So I'm gonna make those skinny taste bagels. Also, the ones from Greek yogurt, that's the plan. I'm getting really hungry, so I'm gonna have to do that soon because those take a little bit of time to make. My mom got me this Angry Mama cleaner for the microwave. My microwave's not that dirty, but my place smells like bacon because I just made it. So let me show you this thing, look at it. So it's supposed to go in the microwave for seven minutes and then you let it cool down and then you wipe the microwave clean. But I want it so that the vinegar takes away the bacon smell. So I'm only gonna do five minutes. Let's see what happens. I am trying on the TikTok leggings, which are supposed to make you look like you have a booty. I can't tell if they do, maybe. They're kind of cool. They're a little bit different. Like the material is, it's not ribbed. I don't know what it is, but they're cute. They're high-waisted. They're comfy. They pull you in and maybe they make my butt look big. I can't tell. <laughs> so I'm going to keep them. I got a medium by the way, and I'm normally a small in Athleta. So that gives you any idea. And I also got the Capri because I felt like the long ones were going to be really long on me. And I think I would have been right. Don't put it on TikTok yet. My parents stopped by my, and they got me a Valentine's Day gift. So I'm going to open this up. It's hard with one hand. Hold on. Look at this. It's really pretty. There's the necklace. Look how pretty this is. Dad, you want to be in the vlog? Never. Rocky. Oh. <laughs> Rocket can be in the vlog. Rocket's just making himself at home here. Placed himself there. I feel like, I don't know, it's like pre COVID, I'm going out. I have my sequin um, bomber jacket on, which is very old. It's usually a jacket I wear to concerts, and I just felt like I was in the mood for it today. I have these fry over the knee boots. I don't think they make them anymore. And the commando leggings, this Vince Camuto top, and my brand new necklace from my mom from Majuri. I think that's how you say it, Majuri. Look how pretty that is. I absolutely love it. And me and my friends are going to Nobu, which I'm not much of a sushi person, so, uh, but I looked at their menu and they have non-sushi items. And I'm just like really loving this whole look. I wanted to say thank you for watching my vlog this week and all the weeks. I hope you're doing well. I will be back on next week, uh, tomorrow, start filming. And thank you for all the comments and likes and DMs and texts and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I will, um, I'll see you next week.